In this video, I'll show you the steps involved to create a custom workspace. The current workspace in this AutoCAD session can be found right up here in this box and it says it's drafting and annotation. This is one of the default workspaces that AutoCAD comes with. If I pick on this down arrow, I can see a few more like 3D Basics, 3D Modeling, AutoCAD Classic. I've got a couple of that I've made for myself and that's what I'm going to talk about is how to make a custom workspace. Alright, so what a workspace is, it's uh, a way for you to go in there and set up the toolbars that you might like to have to set up where your command line is to show whether uh, to decide whether or not you want to show icons it's, it's it's really just how you feel comfortable with the with the graphics interface so one of the first things I want to do is look down here at these icons along the bottom of the screen this is called the status bar the third one from the left is actually my grid display and if I left pick on that I can turn the grid off or turn the grid back on but instead of uh, left clicking on it I'm going to right click on it and I have the option here you'll see it says use icons if I uncheck that box all of those icons are replaced with words and for beginners especially this is a lot easier probably to look down here and see the word grid uh, than to see that icon now later when you get used to working with icons you may want to go back to the uh, to the icon settings and you would just right click and then check use icons in that case all right one of the next things I want to show you is this is called your command line and you can float the command line around wherever you want to I'm just holding I'm picking on it holding down with the left click button and moving it where I want but I'll show you something I like to do drag it all the way down into this area and then let go with your mouse and what it'll do is it will actually dock itself right here uh, below the screen and then it and at that point you'll know exactly where it's going to be located at uh, you can even minimize that a little bit and shrink it down like that but anyway whenever you need to type a command you can always type right in here plus you'll also see uh, cues and things that uh, may help you with a command once you're, you're into a command all, all right let's talk about some other ways that we could customize the screen uh, right up here is our ribbon and you can see all the tabs of the ribbon the current tab is the home tab there's some other tools that we could add uh, right up in here called the menu bar and I always like to add those because I think they have some really valuable tools on them and uh, so probably the best way to get into the menu bar to open it up is just type M E N U B A R so you're just typing the word menu bar is one word press enter and uh, you can see right down here it says the menu bar current value is set to zero the default value is always what's in the brackets and so what I'm going to do is type 1 and press enter and when I do you're going to see a bunch of other tools are going to open this is the menu bar uh, the menu bar is great for quickly going in and setting things like units and drawing limits and text style and uh, that's why I like to have the menu bar open there's other ways to get to those but uh, that's a pretty quick way alright now remember the name of our current uh, workspace is called drafting and annotation in a few minutes I'm going to give that a new name and that will be the name of the custom workspace that I'll use in the future one of the things that I, I like to do I'm going to expand my window just a little bit here one of the things I like to do is open some toolbars and a good way to open toolbars is to go to the ribbon and pick on the view tab and then come over here all the way to the right it says show toolbars pick on the down arrow and if you just hover on AutoCAD you can come right over here and select draw now what that does is it opens the draw toolbar which I can drag away from there uh, I want to show you about the toolbars if you pick in this gray bar right here with your mouse with your left click button and you hold down on it and you drag that to the side it will dock right up against the side alright so I'm gonna go pick on the down arrow again go to uh, hover on AutoCAD and then go down to modify and one thing you'll notice is all the toolbars in alpha are in alphabetical order so I'm going to pick modify now what I have to watch out for is the modify toolbar docked and when it docked it forced the draw toolbar down below it so what I'm going to do is grab my draw toolbar and I'm going to force him to the inside if I can looks like it didn't work too well let's try it again see if we can force it here okay looks like it went up there this time so I'm gonna pull it away <laughs> sometimes that happens I'm gonna pull it out of here I'm just gonna drag the modify out from there and then put the draw in let's move the draw over here put the modify right up next to it move it over a little bit farther drop it in there now another way to open a toolbar is just to right click your mouse 
And another toolbar that I like to open up is called Object Snap. So if you go down into o, the O's, you can pick on Object Snap. And uh, that guy also looks like it forced my draw toolbar away from here. One of the problems I may be having is that I, uh, let me drag this back in. I have my screen compressed, so it's sort of forcing things here, but I'm going to drag this back over here. The last toolbar, I'm just going to right click on this toolbar anywhere and open up Dimension. And uh, let's see where Dimension went in. I hope he didn't go down out of sight. He may have. Let's see if I can find it. Or maybe it didn't open yet. Let's make sure that there's, if there's a checkbox by it, it's open. Okay, here it is. Here's my dimension toolbar. So I'm going to drag my object snap back up and now take my dimension and drag it right over against the side. See, so now I have my draw toolbar, my modify toolbar, my object snap toolbar, and my dimension toolbar. All right, so I like those. So what I've done so far is I've turned on words down here on my status bar. I've moved my command line, I've forced it down into this area so it's docked along the bottom of my screen. I've opened the four toolbars and I've also added the menu bar up here. Remember I just type menu bar, press enter, set that to one and press enter. Okay, so at this point what I would like to do is save these settings into my own custom workspace and here's how you do that. Come up here to this window, pick on this down arrow, come down here to where it says save current as, and right here you can write in your name or however you want to name it. For example, I could call it My Workspace. Now usually what I would do here is put my initials in here so that I can always tell which one is mine. But you can put any title in that you want pretty much and then pick Save. Now what you'll see is that the workspace that was up here has been replaced by my workspace. If I wanted to go back to the drafting and annotation workspace, I can pick on that and it goes back to that workspace, including moving my uh, uh, command line up. But if I come here and I pick on my workspace, it forces everything back to the settings that, that I prefer. And that's how you create a custom workspace uh, in AutoCAD. One other thing though, I want to point out, there is a, a gear associated with this box right up here and anywhere you see that gear you have the option to do workspace switching. Now I know that's kind of hard to see that probably that fly out went below the screen so I'm going to bring this up a little bit. But I'm going to pick on this and you can see here's my workspace settings down here as well. So that's just another way that now I'm going to move this down. That's another way that you can get to your workspace settings.